Welcome to the back room of Bull Goose Shaving Supplies. I've been working for the last several months with Oscar Julian at V-Long Shaving Brush in Spain on coming up with a custom brush uh, that I'll be selling exclusively. I had Oscar make the brush for me in four different knots, two of which are horsehair, natural white and natural brown horsehair. The third is a, a, a mixed knot of horse and badger hair. And the fourth is silver tip badger. First, I'd like to talk a little bit about horsehair brushes. And one of the nice things about horsehair brushes is that they get the hair during the normal grooming process and the horse is not harmed at all. So it's a renewable source. When people think of horsehair, a lot of times they automatically think hard soaps and they think that, oh, it's too scritchy to face lather. And that isn't the case with this at all. Um, I'm actually going to show bowl lathering a cream. For the purpose of today, I'm going to use uh, some Art of Shaving shaving cream. Now, there's a lot of nice creams you could use. Taylor of Old Bond Street, Geo Trumper is really nice, DR Harris, but I'm going to use the uh, art of shaving. So I like to use a little bit of a damp brush, shake out the excess water, and uh, it just really whips up the lather like no one's business. And it's a really nice, stable lather. Uh, with the horsehair brush, it's a little bit different than a badger brush. So a lot of this uh, lather is actually inside the knot. But as soon as you start using it uh, on your face, it just builds up an incredible amount, really nice slick lather. Um, the horsehair is a lot better than a synthetic brush in terms of retaining water. And this is something that you want when you're whipping up, uh, when you're whipping up a lather. Um, moving along, the uh, horse badger mix uh, has some of the nice qualities of both horse and badger. It uh, actually feels a little bit like Best Badger. There's just a tiny little scritch to it, um, but uh, you know it's got good backbone and it works really well with anything you want to throw at it. The silver tip brush that we had Oscar make for us is an ultra premium brush. The uh, hair is ultra premium silver tip badger that supposedly is sourced from the same place uh, that Plisan uses. This brush is actually extra stuffed, um, so it's got about 25% more hair than most silver tip badgers, um, but it isn't overly dense, so it still has really good flow through, good backbone, good face feel, and it's, if you like a luxurious brush and you really like silver tip badger, this one is uh, it's first rate, it's a really nice brush. When people think of silver tip badger brushes, a lot of times they associate that with shaving creams rather than hard soaps because they tend to be, uh, you know, they're really soft, so they tend to be floppy. But this brush we had extra stuffed with about 25% uh, more hair than the typical badger brush. So it has good backbone without being overly dense, um, but so it can handle hard soaps or creams uh, equally well. and. To that point, I'm going to lather up a hard soap. Now the one I'm going to use is my favorite soap. It's the uh, Check and Speak Oxford and Cambridge Shave Soap. Um, but there's a lot of good soaps and you can get this in the really fancy aluminum tin, but you can also get it in a wooden bowl or you can just buy uh, refills of the soap. Um, the DR Harris uh, tallow based soap is also an excellent choice. Now, this is my own personal check and speak soap and just sort of shake the water out and if you can see it almost immediately starts building a ladder. So this has a really luxurious uh, soft face feel as you can see just from 30-45 seconds on a hard soap and this is the lather that, uh, that it produces. So go check out bullgooseshaving.com. That's the only place you're going to be able to find the Lord Randall.